Hello everyone, and this is more of a question that I'm asking. So in the comments, uh, let me know your thoughts. So this is the, I'm having a little bit of a trouble understanding that how this is a, or how I'm supposed to be working with this, all right? So I'm building this uh, Twitter application. This is not really the Twitter application as per se the whole project. This is just a part of the project just to understand some stuff. It has the app state, which is kind of like a global state with a publish tweets property. And the tweet is just a struct, as you can see. All right. In the main file, I have created the content view, I've created some routes, and I have injected the app state as an environment object so that it is available everywhere. Okay, so this is all fine. In the content view, I get access to the app state. I go through the tweets and I display the tweet cell view by passing in the tweet. In the tweet, I get the tweet. I'm also getting or accessing the environment object. Um, I wonder if I actually change the tweet, but tweet is let, so I can't really change that. I'm also inside a struct, so I can't really make it mutable, so that's why I'm using let. And what I'm doing is inside the tab gesture, is I'm trying to find the tweet and then changing it on the spot. So I'm actually referring to the correct tweet by finding the index and using the tweet ID and then changing it in the app.tweets. When this actually happens, this means that something has changed in the environment object and all the people who are using environment object must re-render, which means that this will render again. So this all works perfectly fine. And let me actually show it to you by running it. There we go. And you can see the tweet is selected or not selected. All right. Now, let's go to the navigation link part. If I click on it, I can go to the navigation link and here is where the tweet is selected. When the navigation link happens, I do call route.detail since I'm using iOS 16 and it goes over here and then it basically sends the tweet to the detail view. And that is where my confusion kind of starts. The detail view is right here. You can see that I'm not really doing anything with the app state. There we go. If I run this application right now, from the content view, I can mark these things. I can go back. It's marked, but when I click on it, it doesn't work at all. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't unmark it. I guess if I unmark it, if I check mark and then I check mark it again, it kind of changes the state, but it doesn't re-render the detail view. That's why I'm clicking on it and you can see it's the heart is not going away. So my understanding is that it is not re-rendering because I'm not using the environment object. And the only way I can re-render it if the environment object, well, changes. Well, it's not, it's changing, but since I'm not using environment object, this is not gonna refresh. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enable environment object. Now, just by enabling the environment object, the will not really solve the problem. So if I go ahead and run it again, I can check mark over here, I can go back, I can uncheck it, but it doesn't do anything. Right? Okay. So how can I make this work? I think one of the ways is that I should start using appState.tweets instead of sending this tweet, but I already have the tweet. So how can I make sure that this particular cell is rendering again? And I guess this detail view is the one that's not getting rendered. And when this doesn't get rendered, then the tweet cell view doesn't get rendered. I mean, we can definitely check it out. I can go ahead and print some stuff over here. And I think we are already, yeah. So let's go ahead and put it over there also. So now we'll be able to know which thing is getting rendered. There we go. And when I check mark this, let's clear it up a little bit, I guess. When I check mark, uncheck, so you can see it's a lot of the content view 
cell view, cell view, both cells are getting rendered. If I check mark this, you can see it is rendering the content view, the tweet text view, tweet text view, but it's not rendering the detail view. So now the question becomes like, how can I make sure or easily make sure that the detail view is rendered? One of the things that I was able to do is simply saying app state dot get a particular tweet by ID and passing in that particular tweet. All right. And by doing that, well, now we have another problem, I guess, because this is going to return something else. So I will have to do it over here. Tweet equals to app state dot get by ID. So if I pass in the tweet ID, I can probably go ahead and render it. Oops, not sure what's going on over here. There we go. If I pass in, then I should be able to do that. There we go. So now I can pass in and everything works as expected. Now my question to you is, is this the best approach? So if I want the detail view to use the same self-contained tweet cell view, is this the best approach? Is this something that I'll have to do? Or is there a better way of handling these kind of things? For content view, I didn't really have to do any of that stuff, right? I mean, if I was using a list and I was calling this, uh, well, the reason I didn't have to do anything is that the content view already had access to the app state and we were iterating through it. So it knows that it's going to re-render. But in the detail view, we didn't really, we, we were not really using the app state. So we were not using the environment object. And that's why the only way I could find to use the environment object is to fetch that particular tweet from the environment object rather than the, using the one that is already passed to you. So my question is, is this the best way or are there, am I missing something? Write there in the comments and uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much.